Hi guys, it's the RPG Brit here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Towers of Arise. Back when we left Sisladen, you remember how you said, so long as you don't give up, there's nothing to stop someone starting over? Yeah? Well, I think you did just that. You've set out on a new path despite what happened in your past. <sighs> Besides, you're not the only one fumbling your way through things. You too? It was your dad who taught me to fight. Back at the start of all this, I knew that so long as I followed him, I wouldn't end up straying. But it was also your dad who told me the importance of becoming my own master. Of searching out the answers within me. I always figured I would one day. But at the same time, I had so much more to learn. When he died, I suddenly found myself rudderless. Sure, our immediate goal is to defeat all the lords. But then what comes after that? There's no one left to point me in the right direction. It was then that I realized, no matter how much I fret about it, the only thing I can do is fight. Ren in brutality isn't going to right itself. So that's what I'm doing, fighting. And in the meantime, I'll try to figure out my next move. Right now, that's about all I can do. And you really believe you got what it takes to win this? Against all the odds? Yes, I do. Or, at least I want to. If I'm being completely honest, sometimes I'm not really sure whether I can or not. So what if we're still figuring stuff out? If we do it together, then we can support one another along the way. Is there anything so wrong with that? No, I don't think there is. I think I get it now. You may not know what we're capable of, but we have to try all the same. Having another one of your secret meetings? Don't <laughs> tell me you were taking yet another bathroom break? Oh, we were just engaging in a bit of brotherly bonding. Isn't that right, Alfin? Yeah, that's right. Hmm? Fine then, suit yourselves. Hey, I think I can feel a breeze up ahead. I bet the exit is real close. Finally! Man, it's been too long since I felt the sun on my face. I mean, the big light is a, is a hint. So in the Twin Worlds... Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? When I get in a tussle, I go full force right at him. Whoever makes the first move wins. I do have to admit... It's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah, it was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Zephyr taught you? Wow, I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with being so focused on offense, but the enemy always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? <laughs> So That's what true, you're right. saying is, you're too weak to take a hit. <laughs> you're not exactly one to talk. He's nimble. He's like a glass cannon. Uh, is there anything up here? No. Okay. Oh, we've got another one. What were you two talking about earlier? Earlier? Oh, it was just serious guy talk. You know, the kind that girls don't get to hear. Really? Don't mind him, Rinwell. It's just... Well, maybe it is a little difficult to talk about in front of women. Difficult to talk about? Okay, now I really want to hear it. Unless... It's not the creepy sort of guy talk, right? <laughs> no! Okay, it's not creepy! Okay, okay. As long as you're fighting fit, you can talk about whatever you like. Thanks for your permission. Right, so let's have a look. Um, okay, so we've got to go down there. We've got a campfire there. All right, cool. So this might be the new realm. I think it is. I thought we had to um, get that drawbridge down, but actually we've just gone around it. We're finally here. El de Menencia, the land of green. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah. Just feel that breeze. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. 
unsullied fertile land, as far as the eye can see. That's beautiful. <laughs> what? Well, oh, nothing. Just... Hmm. I was thinking the very same thing. That's the realm capital in the distance. The city of Vicent. A word to the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, she on. She's gone. Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey, you all right, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. <laughs> is he going to be okay? Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own. Land of Green. Okay, so I want to go up here, do some fighting. We've got a couple of map actions now that's unlocked. Let's do that. Oh, these just look like the ones that are inside. Yeah, boomy. They're nothing new yet, but I'm sure they will be soon. just to get that oh well it's all good every fight helps anyway uh, what does that symbol mean oh got another thing so if I remember right there are six elements of astral energy and darkness is only on Rena and light can only be found on Dana right right I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little how did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana, though? Beats me. I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. Yeah, I bet. And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. That's why we need to take good care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? Whew! Yeah, there's, <clears throat> there's definitely a lot more to her than meets the eye. I What's really wrong? have to hurry. What's wrong? My buddy's got hurt real bad. They can't even move. That's not good. Are uh -huh. they close by? Uh, are you saying you can help them? Yes. Is she on? They're just up along this path. Please, you've got to help. That might be the map action. A healer and her patients. Uh, yeah, we'll give that. Treat the injured boy. Yeah, two of them. I'm guessing it is these ones. Might not even have enough CP to do both. My my wounds have closed up. You've saved me. Please let me thank you. Beast tail. Let's take these tomatoes as well. 
do we have enough for this one? If not, we might have to go to the campfire. No, we don't. One CP. Wow. We're gonna have to come back for that, unfortunately. What's this doing here? Let's fight these and then rest, and we'll go back. Good thing we're close to this campfire, really. No backing down. You're quite the gunslinger. I have to be, in this world. Don't worry, I've got your back. I hate camping out. <laughs> right, let's see if there's any more uh, weapons that we can do. There is. We can't do either one of these ones for her at the moment. For him, sorry. But we'll definitely keep an eye out. Uh, we can upgrade hers, which is good. We can do her for one of them. And him for one. Nice. So hopefully in this area we're able to find the rest of the stuff to upgrade those ones. Oh. Arms collector. Nice. I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Let's rest up, go back and heal that boy. Or go. I didn't actually know. Why do you keep staring at me, Shion? Just what is that wolf on your shoulder? <laughs> Oh, this thing? I love it. I got it off a street vendor for just 10 gold. I don't know if that's something to brag about. Hey, 10 gold's a bargain if you ask me. I think because it's pretty it cool. wouldn't sell otherwise. It serves no practical purpose. Honestly, I'm surprised you paid 10 whole gold for it. Shut up! But the detail is so lifelike. I think you made a good choice, Law. Oh, she does like it, then. Really? I have no idea why you wear it over your shoulder, though. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Got one of these as well, weight training. <laughs> 88! 89! Oh, What's shoot! Doing? What the? Is the enemy attacking? Uh, sorry about that. You're not hurt, are you? Law? What on Dana are you doing? What am I doing? Training, obviously. I found these nice and heavy rocks that I decided to strap onto my arms, but I guess I didn't tie them down good enough because they went flying. So you were doing improvised weight training. <laughs> you and your crazy ideas. I can't help it. If I'm not training, it's easy for me to get anxious. Well, that's fair. Actually, I remember seeing you practicing your forms for some time when we were camping the other day. Yep. No amount of muscle will do you any good if you don't stay on top of your fighting forms. It always feels good when I know I'm still sharp. Sounds to me like you have too much pent-up energy. Don't train so hard that you wind up hurting yourself, Law. I promise you, you're already perfectly strong as it is. No, I'm not. You never know what we'll run into out there. You can never go into a fight too prepared. And that's the truth. Besides, I won't rest until I know that I'm stronger than you, Alfin. <laughs> Oh, I see how it is. Hmm. Well, I don't plan on letting you beat me. <clears throat> Maybe I'll add some weights to my sword and practice swinging it. That should help out. Uh, Alvin, are you crazy? <clears throat> You're right. This does make for decent training. Good call with the extra weight law. That's gonna compete Brian, with each yeah, other. You get it? Since we've already come this far, what do you say we have a little one-on-one -on -one with our rocks strapped on? Hell yeah! I'm down for that! Just give me a second, I'll be all ready to roll! Okay! I'm all set! Let's do this! Take this! I'm just getting started! Ah! Our camp is completely <laughs> wrecked! Go. You two are cleaning it up. Yes, yeah, Shion. <laughs> Boys will be boys, eh? Um, right. 
that's cooked before. I do still want the more dropped items, or maybe the rare ore would be good as well. Yeah, let's do that again. We'll get Law to do it, and then this is perfect. I'll maybe we'll get watering when they we'll get the equipment to upgrade our weapons. Uh, let's do Law. Mind if I join you, Law? Hey, Alfin. When do you find the time to train? It's always about training. All of a sudden. It's just, even without the blazing sword, you'd still be able to hold your own, right? But I never see you training. I'd hardly call it a regimen. Unless exchanging blows with Zoogles counts. I mean, sure, I get that real-life practice beats training any day. But you must have the odd trick or two up your sleeve. I just told you. I really don't. Wait, I've got it. It's your armor, right? You channel the extra weight into your strikes and... It's actually not as heavy as it looks. So not the armor, huh? In that case... <sighs> Just calm down a little, would you? Why are you so fixated on this anyway? Well, because I want to make myself stronger. You're strong enough as it is. I almost feel sorry for those Renan soldiers. It's not enough. I need to keep working to get stronger. I won't allow myself to fail anyone okay, again. Okay, it's a guilt thing. Law? I'm useless the way I am now. If someone else dies because of me... Law! Uh, uh, sorry. Spiraling into self-doubt won't do me any favors. I know that. None of us are invincible, Law. We're all just getting by, doing the best we can. That's all we can ask of each other, right? It's as good a place as any to start, I guess. To start what? My new training regimen, of course. <laughs> and what better way to kick it off than push-ups? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I admire your enthusiasm. Just don't overdo it, okay? Just wait. You'll see how strong I can get. I'll take I'll it to law. Tonight. It's fine. That's so we can train. <laughs> I feel right. pretty refreshed after that sleep. Let's go up here with this. We'll fight them again on the way back down. Just for the extra fight. Wow, that's crazy, it doesn't hurt anymore. Eggs. Hmm. There's one other person up further ahead. Would you mind taking a look at him? Just a look? Yeah, you'll uh, see what I mean once you find him. Okay. Intriguing. Treat the poet. Right. Okay, he's down there. I thought it was much, much further ahead. This warm light, might it be? Clam tentacles. Mm hmm. Oh, oh my. What sorcery is this? Might you be a miracle work of some sort? It's just a healing art. No, this is mere. This is no mere healing art at mm -hmm. work here. I sense compassion thrown through this energy. Compassion tingled with just the slightest hint of loneliness, emptiness even. He's got you pegged. <laughs> Alfin. Why are you agreeing with him? Keep it up and I won't heal you next time you're in trouble. S sorry, <laughs> my bad. I see. So this is how true hey. bliss feels. Will you shut up already? Anyway, how'd you get hurt? Did a Zergo attack mm -hmm. you or something? Something to that effect. You see, one of the foul beasts ambushed us and injured my companions. And in my fright, I took quite a tumble and came That's crashing great. down. Oh, so the Zergo didn't actually hurt you then. Where is it now? Is it gone? So it seems, after I let forth the most vicious bell... <laughs> Bellow, I could muster. It appears to have fled in fear. Well, be careful on travel. See you. Be. Wait, don't leave me. I'm a minstrel who tells many tales about this fleeting world in which we live. They call me the, the Wonderbard. Is, is there a reason you decided to share that with us? I could tell from the very moment our eyes met that the two of you are something special. You're not like most of the others in this world. I'm keen to witness with my own eyes just how this rich tapestry of emotion you two share nice. comes to unfold. Well, no harm in that, I guess. Name's Alfin. Hey, don't indulge well. creep. 
It's a pleasure to meet you both. Henceforth, we are bound by fate, destined to meet one another again. I'm certain things shall get more dramatic from here. I look forward to the day I'll pass across <laughs> once more. And on that note, I must take my leave. There are others out there who yearn to hear my most beautiful voice. Adios. Yeah, we're definitely going to see this guy again. Oh, cool. And they locked a new thing as well. Healer. Nice. That's definitely something I'm going to have a look at. Maybe we should have left them alone. Thanks, Gian. W why are you thanking me? Why do we leave them alone? <laughs> uh, right. Let's fight these again and then we'll carry on. But a opponent like this should be easy. I'll smash you! You're finished! Only getting I'm on it! Double demon fang! They got me That's probably massive overkill. Right. So we've got two routes here. Let's go down this one because this is a dead end, so I'm guessing it leads to something and an owl. There we go. Uh, tropical corsage. Look, Hoodle! One of your buddies! This looks like another fishing port, doesn't it? So at some point we're going to go rod, aren't we? They're going to bring in a fishing mechanic. I think Hoodle senses something. Okay, so there's another owl in this area somewhere. Right, I'm going to do a couple of these fights and then. Oh. Just great. There are too many zergles here. Maybe we should avoid them. Yes. Nah, I say we fight him till our blood flow. It will get our blood flowing and help shake off this weird mood I've been in. Plus, we all know the only thing I'm good for are these fists. I've got to stay on top of my game so I don't lay anyone down. Okay, if you say so, let's do this. Battle chain bonuses. After battles, you accumulate a bonus based on your combat points, viewable at the top of the nav map. As this total rises, you'll earn more XP and better item drop rates. Nice. And encounter rare foes more often. This bonus decreases over time. That's cool. That's a cool function. Look sharp! Still plenty more to clear clear out. I say we go another round. Out of our way. You don't seem to be doing anything. I just do what I have to. If you're ever in a pinch, just say the word. We did it. Damn, you're right. I'm glad we beat all those Zergles. It was totally worth it, right? Even with the Zergles you struggle against, keep fighting enough and eventually you'll get lucky. Well, that's actually a quest. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> and it's opened up a new skill. Silver Wolf Reawakened. Cool. Sure did. The part where you swung and missed, right? Not that part. It looks like most of these are now the same. Let me fight these. I yeah, shell shocker. They're, they're exactly the same. Um, yeah, so I'm going to um, clear this whole area off camera. Um, actually, how much time? Oh, it's 24 minutes. I'm going to clear this whole area off camera and then I'll, I'll be back, so I'll literally be like one second. If anything happens, obviously, I'll come back to recording. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in just a sec. Right, so, 
I'm back because I was just fighting these guys and this dragon just appeared. <laughs> a great dragon. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's see how we do against this. I'm guessing this is the rare, um, the rare creatures that we might get. Although my my uh, streak, my fighting streak, doesn't seem to be that high. I think it's only at two. So let's bring this down if we can. Are you going to bring me back? There we go. Well, it's just got the trophy for getting a um, over 100 hits. That went up to 130. That was nice. Well, that's like a quarter down. Oh wow, that was a big hit. Yeah, this thing is tough, nearly at halfway. Again, we're just relying on um, Shion to keep healing us. Nice. I got his weakness. Come on, nearly down to last quarter. Here comes a big one. God, she needs to heal herself. Got no CP left either. I might not be able to heal, actually, with no CP. That is not good at all. Oh, she ain't died. She's down now. Oh, we're all down. No way. So close. Six thousand, six and a half thousand HP left. Oh, nice. I don't know how 
I'll use life bottles. Okay. Those are those items we've been collecting. Damn it. Get out of the way. I thought it was done then. I thought I was done for, but... Core break, nice. Come on, thousands. 109, this is it, yeah. Cool, tough, tough fight. A magical flower that grants the owner plus 10 max CP. Nice. Restoring CP. If the party runs out of CP, you won't be able to cast healing or support arts yet. To restore it, stay at it, stay at an inn or campground and rest. I won't rest until I'm the best I can be. Still striving to be on par with the Lord? You simply can't be too strong when battle is a part of your every day. All right. Let's watch some of these and then I'll end this video here. Uh, what? You okay? You made a weird sound. <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking how amazing this view is. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen mountains and fields before? Actually, now that I think about it, it's not every day we get to enjoy views like this. You too? Yeah. Calaglia has rocky landscapes, but the terrain here is completely different. Like, you see that mountain over there? Doesn't it look like a big wave that somebody turned into stone? Right? And those ones look like the horns or claws of some giant monster. I'm surprised they managed to stay up. Yeah, just be thankful we don't have to pass under them. Actually, they won't come tumbling down that easily. <sighs> You sure about that? Menencia harvests Earth energy, which explains why the topography is so varied here. It's also why those rocks are bound to be sturdy. So all that astral energy is also what makes this realm look so lush then. Does astral energy really have that much of an impact on the land? Obviously it does. Yeah. Is that why even that mountain looks the way that it does? The stronger the energy is, the greater impact it has on lots of things. So yes, like a great big fire. But these imbalances are too pronounced to be nature's work. It's not how Dana would otherwise naturally look. If it's not natural, then you mean all of this is the Renans doing? <sighs> when you put it like that, even something as nice looking as this starts to feel wrong. <sighs> all right. I don't think we're going to get another one. No. Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to end this video here. Um, when I come back, I'm probably going to have cleared this area unless something else happens, like a great big dragon drops out of the sky. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much, and take care.